So what we have here first, this is by 4D Shams, everything wrong with the black community. And as you can see, I have donned my shiesty mask. Let's dive in and see what is going on with the black community. Mm-hmm. I see we're starting uh -huh. off early. Say, I'm a goofy. I'm a goofy. I love, I love being a goofy. I love being a goofy. Few moments later. Where you running? Come on. Where you going? That boy fast. Where though. you going? Where you going? He's still. He's still. He's still. Please. Please. Please what? Please what? Where you going? Where you going? Uh, why? Fuck on, bitch. It's like every time I see content like this, it gives me another reason to hate goddamn niggas. Negativity. Negativity is what I was going to say. Honestly, it feels yeah, like negativity GD, and degeneracy are like the top things being promoted in the black community these days. And it's getting pushed onto a younger and younger... Look, look, bro. I ain't promote no degeneracy, bro, at all. Like, I, I don't promote none of that, bro. I promote some anime, you know. You go, go watch some anime or something, bro. You feel me? Like, don't do something positive in the community, you feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with owning a gun, you feel me? Like, you know, protect yourself. But make good choices out there. That's it. That's a responsible message. Younger generation. It's like every other day I see a girl I grew up with promoting her OnlyFans on social media. And me being the supporter friend that I am, of course I gotta subscribe and see if it's hitting on some. Nah, I'm World. just joking, I'm just joking. <laughs> but nah, seriously though, no did way. you even give life a try? Like you're not even 25 yet. And I knew we were beyond cooked when I was scrolling through Twitter and I seen this. I hate when niggas call me queen. <laughs> I am 22 years old. Boy, I'm a bitch. Who raised y'all? And then bro. I got homies who I grew up with. Same elementary, same middle school, same high school. They come from good two-parent households. And now all of a sudden, these niggas catching bodies. Like, why is your social hey. media tag, Lil Man Man, walk them down? Your name is Matthew. You grew up going to church every Sunday. That boy, shout out to all the Matthews in the world. You know, Mr. Walk them down. <laughs> shout out to all the Matthews, bro. That's apparently Mr. Walk, Mr. walk them down, bro. But shout out to Matt, bruh. Hey, and your mom will post pictures of you in your Sunday best on Facebook caption, my little baby going God, to church today. Thug, your curfew was 9 p.m. Who is spot him, shot him, JJ? Your name is Jacob. Niggas used to smack you in the back of the head in middle school. Why are you going by Vaughn? How about with that Drake? And these Damn. young niggas will crash out about anything. I mean, some fine anything. shit could follow you on IG. And two hours later, you got crash out Quan following you. Looking <laughs> devious as hell. He got a Glock with the beam and a switch in every highlight. Nigga can't post a picture without it. It's like an accessory. <laughs> To these niggas. Now before y'all get on here trying to jump me and call hey, me a rap, them switches and some of them pictures, bro. You know they, they be wearing them things like some fucking earrings, bro. Like they they's got them hoes around them, bro. It's no matter what, like it's fucking wild, bro. Anyway, bro, let me stop interrupting this shit. Cool. All I'm doing is some self-reflection. Because honestly, it doesn't seem like the young black community has been doing much of it lately. But I mean, how could we when we got people losing brain cells from inhaling whippets? And if you don't know that what a whippet crazy, is, bro. it's basically the that gas shit, that they put inside a whipped cream. And what it does is basically give you this temporary high, reduce anxiety, and sometimes even give you hallucinations. But in the process, it's basically fucking up your brain. This shit literally cuts off the oxygen to your brain, Not and if you inhale too much, me, you won't be able to breathe. Oh, we don't even smoke blunt somewhere. What do you I ain't gonna lie, flexing that you're addicted to a new and worse drug is diabolical work. These niggas are already starting to sound like Patrick Starr, and that is definitely not a good thing. They already got raps, bro. You hear that? He sound like he. Hey, bro, just just a little PSA, bro. Come on, man. That's what we doing, bro. Like, you know, at one point it was other shit, you know, but come on, bro. Whippets, bro? Embarrassing. Come on, dog. We, we can't do this, bro. And we can't be the people that started. You know what I mean? We can't be starting new drugs, bro. We can't do that. Like, we were just getting on people about fit, bro. Well, like, what's going on with this shit? Like, come on, we don't, we don't need no whippets, bro. What y'all doing, bro? Oh, slow. <clears throat> That's how these niggas gonna be looking and sounding in a couple of years. And the scariest Everybody thing about these like niggas is they bro. have no regard for their life. Growing up, most kids either feared their parents or they feared God, so it kept them from doing bad shit. But with these young niggas, I don't know if it's the drugs that they be on that numbs their emotions or if it's just the lack of guidance, but they do not care. Bro, if you try to... Bro, it's the fucking generation, bro. They all got, they all pressing each other outside, bro. They, you got, you got to fucking protect yourself, bro. They got to act hard. Everybody got to act hard, bro. You t no one to be soft out here, bro. You, you don't get fucked up. Skill issue. And then, like, they just worried about that, so. That's what's, that's what's going on, bro. So, they, they got to be hard. I don't know why they fucking so mean to the damn parents, but, hey, it is what it is, bro. I mean, you know, I had it out a few times on mine, but, you know, it, <laughs> I ain't no uh, fire on them, you know what I mean, but... <laughs> 
discipline a young nigga, that nigga might Swiss cheese you, parent or not. They are legit looking for a reason to die. Y'all not really understanding how scary these young niggas are. We legit got young niggas who can't even walk, still walking shit down. The nigga is paralyzed. <laughs> like at this point, hey, this shit just gotta be down, sign bro. language. You can't walk, but you still walk on niggas down. Yeah. <laughs> Like that, like that shit should not be funny, bro. But it really is. Like, bruh, it's gotten that bad to where like they they pulling that, bruh. Like, that's crazy. How y'all feel about that one, bruh? I, I don't know about the the disability one. Like, I I don't I don't know about that, bruh. Disability, disabled people, they ain't banging, bro. And like, I'm pretty sure they have been, but like, I mean, talking about this type, bro. Like, but his legs is messed up, bro. Oh man. I knew not to give this nigga the ability to walk, What's cause up, he would have been putting up King Von type numbers. Well, now I'm not thing. trying to be ableist here, but if I got taken out by a crippled nigga, I'm giving up the street life. Cause how does a nigga who can't walk walk you down? Just tilt the nigga over. We damn near got a domestic crisis. These are just some of the things that young niggas have done so far. These Dodge Chargers got us in a chokehold. That honestly might be the truest stereotype about black people. But watch how these young niggas intensely hit this nigga's bumper, have him come out the car, and then pop out with Glocks and switches, trying to switch Damn, cheese bro. a nigga over a car. And then we got the typical Friday afternoon of a young nigga. After just getting done terrorizing his high school, middle school, or maybe even elementary. Yes, they do make him that young nowadays. Where are they getting this military grade weaponry, bro? Like, how am I supposed to protect myself with a little block? Y'all see the formations, though, bro? Hold on, bro. Let me back up, bro. Make sure my shit ain't in the way. But look, little buddy crouched and everything, bro. Like, he he was fucking ready, bro. Like, he's done this shit so many times, bro. He up in the fucking front, like, ready to fucking go. I know they a little hard to see back there, but, bro, everybody was in squad form, bro. Like, we talking almost military, bro. That shit crazy. I want to in be ARs. Like, I might as well just use my hands at that point and what then that we got this bro? guy. What's going on, man? Why you touching me, nigga? I'm trying to record a video. Oh, I'm not telling you my Jerry. I don't feel like playing today, bro. My mama don't feel like... I'm not telling you my Jerry that I got... He is waiting, you know. You got to pay me. Whole drum hanging out of his pocket, bro. Why you so damn mad? Hey, hold on. Man, this nigga got the camera out, man. My mama, you got to pay me or something. Bro, what the fuck you doing? Hey, shoot up, bro. You see how he don't care that the camera is out? This nigga got a whole blick with the drum on it, and you still teasing him? Like, what are you doing, bro? I'm just saying that you're on camera, too, nigga. Yo, come here. You're on camera. He don't care. Camera, it's nigga. too late, now. You're on camera, nigga. You're on camera, nigga. You're on camera, nigga. Stop. Stop. It's a joke. It's a joke. Stop. It's a fucking joke. It's a fucking joke. Stop. Y'all not really hearing me when I say these young niggas was be moving up. like the... Hey, uh, let me hold really back up. Come here. You're on camera. He don't care. Saying, you're camera, it's too late, now. You're on camera, nigga. Yo, yo, camera, nigga. Yo, camera, nigga. Stop. Stop. It's a joke. It's a joke. Stop. It's a fucking joke. It's a fucking joke. Stop. Nah, the way, the way that they up and bro, it ain't, it ain't the real thing, bro. But still, like the, the, the lesson was hopefully learned, bro. Don't stop fucking with niggas, bro. Like, God, what are y'all doing, bro? Like, you know they already got it on them, and you don't go over there and fuck with them. That, that's, that's what we doing, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, y'all, y'all be better, bro. Like, y'all gotta do better. Hear me when I say these young niggas be moving like the military. You feel me? You know where you at? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna Watch go this, this way. I'm just gonna pull no, out, no, you're not going none of this. You stuck over here now. Bro. What is he doing? Damn, right? he over there building that shit, bro. We filming a funny video. We filming a funny video. I thought so. Oh, I thought so, bro. Oh, this nigga just pulled out a fucking RPG. I mean, honestly, like, I, I wouldn't be too worried about the RPG, bro. Because if he, if he uses it, bro, like, the block is gone, bro. Like, we're gone. Like, he's gone. Like, he ain't gonna do it, bro. Like, I. It's, it's more for, like, the surprise factor and the wow factor. He got a fucking RPG, bro. Like, that, that's all that shit is. But he he ain't don't do it right there, bro. I, he ain't don't. If it, like, if he was going to, bro, I feel like he would have been used that shit by now, bro. At this point. But I, I sure hope he has used it, like, in a field somewhere and blown some shit up, bro. I bet that shit was cool as shit, bro. I don't know where the fuck you get one of them, but let me go ahead and get one, bro. Put a C on that bitch, bro. Wrap it Over up. Over a YouTube video. <laughs> Word for word, I don't got shit to lose. I'll crap.
lash out about a YouTube video. Why would you mess with that type and of nigga? And then with an RPG, you know? definitely got something to lose, bro. Like, you protecting something, bro. How usually when you commit saying. a crime, you try to hide it and make it so people don't find out that you did it so you don't do the time or someone tries to come back and retaliate against you. Yeah, young niggas completely erase that idea. They do the crime and they want everybody to know that they did the crime. Prime example is this dude. Wow, I'm ready to crash. You fuck nigga into my name. I dare nigga pull for you, bitch. I'm ready to die. I'm dead. I'm alone. I'm, I'm not going. I'm bro. My mom, y'all bitch, that nigga pull up, pull up, fuck y'all nigga, tell my mom, fuck you, take my mom, ready to die. I'm gonna fuck if a nigga get off on me. I'm getting off on y'all bitch, that nigga, my mama. So not only does he want to crash out, he goes on Instagram live so the whole world can see him crashing out. Man, These so young wild, niggas bro. did a Uno reverse. They out here chasing cops. We chasing them. Oh, I did. We this chasing y'all. I never thought I'd see the day that when the cop crazy, is the bro. one trying to do a swerve move to get away. Like, honestly, bro, in that situation, it's like, uh, if you're in that town, bro, like, what do you do? You know, who do you go to? The cops are being walked down, ran down by Lil Ray Ray. You know what I mean? Like, what do you do? In a town like that, bro, either you on their side or you got switches of your own, bro. Like, damn. That sounds awful, bro. I mean, it is just the one, though. I feel like they got the department out. It might be a little different, but that's all right, man. Get on the side. I don't know how far it's going to go. I can't hear it's shit. There. You know how much of a crash out you got to be to not only chase a cop, but get it on video and then post it on social media? These niggas about to be marinating behind that jail cell. We not going to see them until like the year 2085. Once again, we got cops ducking smoke from them young niggas. Yeah, he... Like, what the fuck are you here for? Can you even hey, bring bro. this nigga? Uh, that's the definition of not my fucking problem, bro. I... I... <laughs> All them niggas hanging out the fucking car, bro. It, it ain't happening, bro. I'd, I'd let you know now, bro. That shit right there. That ain't happening, bro. Hell nah, bro. That nigga got his vest. I know he was sweating, bro. Like, it ain't happening. Like, it, I know you're looking at them other people like, shut the fuck up, bro. Please. Like, <laughs> bro, I don't know what you expect that man to do, bro. Because I know he ain't never that dark ass tent in his window, bro. He ain't see shit. Like, what the fuck are you here for? Can you no, even blame that. this nigga? Like, he probably got a family he want to go back home to. Crime. And judging from the video, all them niggas sounded like they were underage. So if they Swiss cheese his ass, they'll probably still get like a slap on the wrist just because they kids. When it comes to these young niggas, you really can't win. You just got to let them do what they do. And the crazy thing about all this is they keep making them younger and younger. I used to think little boys like Lil RT were an Lil anomaly, RT. but nah, he's just the one that got clout. It's young niggas like him all over the hood now. Shit, don't be surprised if pretty soon one of these old heads or maybe even your favorite rapper gets Swiss cheese by like a seven year old. Got my young niggas out. <laughs> young homie. You niggas be safe out here, man. You already know. That shit's so crazy, bro. I got bro. so many questions. Kids, bro. So many questions. Whose car is that? How many kids are in that car? Why is the smallest one driving the car? Why aren't these niggas in school? Why is dude recording like this shit is normal? Nigga, where are their parents at? Probably Tell is. this nigga how to drive. How can he even see the road? Did these kids make it back home safe? How has no cop spotted them so far? The kid driving looks like he's late elementary, early middle school at Yo, best. Uh, yeah, Who I do. can't be anything more than like 13 years old? Young niggas are just emotionally unstable kids that just happen to have access to drugs and military grade weapons. So why would you mess with them? And them being so young just adds to the fact that they're not really aware of the weight of their actions. A lot of them probably- oh, nigga, Let's not do that, bro, because they're 100% aware, bro. Now, I don't think they're aware of like, maybe the potential of the future, you feel me? Like, I feel like maybe they're just like, they crash out ready to throw away their lives, but not realizing that they there's so much potential in the future to do more. And, you know, you don't own guns and shit in the future, too. Like, but, uh, you know, them switches, you know, uh, that's, that's a conversation for something else. But, yeah, this is a better opportunity in the future for them, but they're not aware. So I think that's all it is. But they're definitely aware of what they're doing currently. They're trying to throw their lives away. Like, <laughs> duh. That's what they're trying to do. That's why they ready to crash out. Don't care about the consequences or don't think they'll have to deal with the consequences. So they act from a place of fearlessness. Now, I didn't make this video with a solution necessarily in mind, but I do know that it's a problem that needs more awareness around it. And honestly, at the end of the day, these young niggas are just misguided kids. And it's on the adults to help them do better. I don't know where you old heads at right now, but y'all need to do y'all job and give some guidance.
right? So I already know no solutions for them young niggas either. But all I have to say is they did they did yonder every year, bro. It could be very bad in the future, bro. Hopefully not.